I came to know the difference. Real bad seeds in Oakland raised the hardest. Copper miners and male thieves and armed robbers came a dime a dozen. Did what they did to survive. But the real masters of misery were the ones who got home from whatever it was they did. Gambling, drinking, working on cars, scrapping metal, pulling copper out of construction sites, and raped their loved ones one way or another, not necessarily physical, control freaks on a power trip. The sweetest thing I ever met was a hellcat of a girl, about my age and full of red blood, maybe hotter than mine, a rare jewel. Her name was Bless. Freddie was good friends with her man, Everett, a card-carrying member in good standing with the alpha male society of assholes. They lived in his house a stone throw from Grand Central Junkie Station. MacArthur had telegraph down the stroll, a strip of motels which accommodated prostitution. Hookers filled rooms. There were plenty of working class customers to fuel demand. West Oakland warehouses and industry lined the streets to house the container ship contents which came through the thriving port of Oakland from all over the world. I saw Bless a number of times before we first spoke to one another, victim to the poverty of introductions in our world. I got used to it. Introductions could threaten an otherwise concealed identity. Outlaws were hiding in plain view. I sat down across from her in Rhett's living room. She glared at me. Turns out glaring was routine. I was fascinated by her. Next time Freddie took me there, I sat down beside her on the couch. She saw I was slender, tall, and soft in the aura, and decided to let me be. I would have been happy to be friends with her, except I saw she wanted to kill somebody. I just hoped it wasn't me.